Hi, I'm Ari Altman from the Tech Buyers Guru. This is a website and a YouTube channel that typically covers computers and home electronic products, but from time to time I'm going to be throwing the RC community bone because it's another area of tech that I really like. So what I've got here is the Team Red Cat MT-10E four-wheel drive monster truck. This is a really popular new model. It comes in at a great price point, $300 and just performs really well for the price. It's brushless motor, it's got a Savox servo, it's fully waterproof, uh, it just is really good for the money. But there's one component, uh, one hop-up that a lot of people are probably interested in, and that is the Team Red Cat Center Differential Kit, which I've got right here. I'm going to be showing you how to install this kit. And uh, what you're going to find, I'm going to open this up right now and just tell you what, what's in here, and then we're going to move into kind of a hands-on uh, installation. The interesting thing about this kit is that it actually requires uh, a new uh, chassis brace here, a chassis component, and I'll show you why. I'm going to pop the top off of this truck. What you're going to see in here is that you've got your you've got your spur gear right in here. Um, and don't worry when I get to the installation process. I'm going to move the camera closer. But basically, what, what's uh, the, the issue with the center diff kit is that it requires a, a slightly different cutout in this housing. And so um, right now, uh, Team Red Cat is actually supplying a new housing, an entirely new plastic brace here that goes front to rear uh, to house your center diff because the stock piece will not fit that center diff. So what's going to happen is you're going to be removing uh, your speed control, the cable brace, and a, few, and a number of hex screws. You need a, both a 2 millimeter and 2.5 millimeter uh, wrench to get those out. The other thing you're really going to need is, of course, some diff fluid because uh, if you uh, remove your spur gear and just put that center diff in without any diff fluid, what you're going to go from having is a uh, locked diff to a completely open diff. And so if you enjoy popping wheelies on this truck, um, I, of course, got that wheelie bar all the way down because out of the box, this thing wheelies like crazy. Of course, you need that wheelie bar down all the way. Um, once you put that center diff in without any fluid, you're not going to be popping any wheelies. You're going to be throwing all the power of the front wheels. You probably don't want that if you've bought this kind of in, in part because you like that 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 monster truck uh, uh, feel of this truck and that it really just is wild out there. Um, so you're going to want some uh, diff fluid. This is team associated uh, 100,000 weight fluid. I haven't obviously tried it yet because the diff's not installed, but this is what's recommended for a monster truck. I am back here to show you how we're going to install the center differential kit for the Team Red Cat MT-10E. I've actually gone ahead and uh, unscrewed all the 13 uh, Allen head hex screws that you're going to need to remove. Two of them use a 2 millimeter hex, and that's for this little cable bracket, which I'm just going to pull right off. Uh, the wire that's for your power leads for your motor and then the other 11 use a 2.5 millimeter hex wrench I've actually like I said I've already unscrewed those and I'm going to show you how this pulls off we're going to need to put these aside because you're going to need to reuse those uh, off comes the uh, this is the kind of the protector for the uh, ESC that's actually something you can actually put an optional dust filter in there uh, Red Cat includes that in the box I haven't used that here uh, so I'm just pulling out all these screws here. Like I said, I already unscrewed them, but uh, it only took about five or six minutes to get to all of them. You'll probably want a long reach Allen, Allen head uh, screwdriver uh, because some of them are a little hard to get to. All right. Now, we should be able to pull this up at this point. Let's see what happens. Ah, there's actually a couple more screws I have to remove. There's this um, Red Cat's included this innovative little uh, wire holster for the, ser the servo and the uh, and the lighting. And I see now, I didn't realize it, it's actually attached to the center brace. Now keep in mind that there are no instructions in this kit. Uh, all you're going to get is this right here. All right, just has the parts. Uh, photographed and then an exploded view. Nothing on the back. 
there are no instructions here. So uh, sorry I missed that. We're going to go ahead and unscrew that. I did go ahead and inventory the parts and everything photographed uh, in the photograph here on the, on the little slip sheet is included plus an additional part. This is like I mentioned this, the center diff housing. This is a modified piece because the stock piece actually won't work. Uh, I assume that uh, Red Cat Racing realized that after they created this parts list because it's not on there. But I'm going to put this uh, right here. Well, actually, I'm going to need to refer to the exploded diagram, so I'm going to keep it right here. You can see it there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and unscrew this little brace here. This is a two millimeter hex wrench that I'm using on this one. Uh, so that's going to be a total of, that means 15 screws I had to take out, four of them being two millimeter and 11 being two and a half millimeter. So I did a, a detach this wire holster here. I've removed my servo wire, my LED wire. Let's see if we can pull this all up off that center diff. Let's see if there's anything else holding it on. Oh yes. The ESC is being held on here. Oh, so I have to remove this ESC. I think it's just on by double-sided tape. So let's hope that's true. Feels like it. Kind of a bad feeling having to pull this thing off of here, but had to be done. All right, so that was attached with double-sided tape and uh, looks like it's going to stay on here. I'm going to have to get some extra double-sided tape to reattach my speed control a little bit later on. Let's put that aside for now. So what we see here is the original housing and the new housing. So what ha has happened here is in the new version, it's just kind of removed. That extra plastic has been removed by Red Cat. That's the only difference between these two housings. And I know that some people probably could go ahead and use a Dremel tool to remove this extra bit of plastic here, but Red Cat's decided, hey, that's not very user-friendly. We'll, in we'll include a brand new housing here. So that's what's different here. By the way, there are a couple of uh, nuts in here that we're going to need to reuse. Now what you can see in here is you got your spur gear, your drive shafts going to the front and rear, and you got the bearings that we're going to be replacing. And this spur here is just a locked gear in this situation. Also of note is that I can access this. Um, you're going to get a two for one bonus here. You can see right, right in there, right in here is the, um, I'm going to point at it here. This is this grub screw that holds in that rear drive cup and this is what can possibly back out so I'm going to actually go ahead and remove that and then I'm going to be thread locking it. Uh, I already lost one in the front and the front one is actually not accessible by taking off the center diff housing. Uh, you have to reach through the suspension arms through here and I've already thread locked that one. But I'm going to go ahead I'm going to take this out. I think it's a, oh yeah, how about that? It's a, this is a two millimeter so I'm going to just go ahead and do this. As long as I'm in here, you're going to get a two-for-one show. I'm going to remove this grub screw from this rear drive shaft here before it, it removes itself. All right, there we go. And it is really not accessible unless you take off the center diff housing. There, that's what these grub screws look like. Okay, that's what that grub screw looks like. It's a, it's a pin. A thread on top and it undoes itself very very quickly okay after four weeks of running this I lost my front one and got replacements from Red Cap but I'm gonna go ahead and preserve this one I'm gonna use some blue thread lock I'm gonna put it on the threads I'm gonna drop it in oops got some on my hands it's not exactly what I wanted okay this is a pretty little this is a little little component here so let's see if I can get it lined up there we go, Come on. There we go. I'm going to drop this in I'm 
There it is. You gotta make sure you gotta line it up with the threads and then also with the drive cup. Uh, the drive cup has a hole through the center, obviously, for that shaft to engage. And now I'm dropping that grub screw in. It's got lots of thread lock coming out of there. I'm gonna wipe that off. And that is that's gonna be your first repair. Okay, so I've just shown you how to uh, remove and uh, replace that. And a grub screw in your rear drive shaft uh, that can come undone and I've just thread locked that as long as it was in there. Now let's go ahead and remove some parts here. Well this should be fun. We're going to pop these out. Pop out. There we go. Not too bad. Got a little drive shaft here. Got a bigger drive shaft here. Get your spur gear, your drive cups, bearings. Those are all going to be coming out. Alright so I need to uh, remove the cups from the spur gear because the spur gear is going to be reused. Just by looking at that, I think those are two millimeter. Yes, okay, so here we go. I'm going to grab this gear by the horn, so to speak, and I'm going to pop this off. All right. I have just doubled the playback speed here and what I'm going to do is narrate each of the components that I've added here. Put the bearing on the spur gear, put the drive cup through. I also have an o-ring I have to press in there. That is the, the black o-ring. There's two red o-rings that go inside the diff. This is the seal. It's kind of like a soft rubber seal. Now you're going to see that I put a washer on and I'm going to put a pin through. All right, I'm going to jump to the differential body here. I put a bearing and the drive cup in the bottom of it. Uh, I put a washer in, actually an, uh, an O-ring, one of those red O-rings. Sorry, there it is. Put a washer. Now what I'm going to need to do is put a pin through with a pliers, which you are about to see. Okay, there it is. Now we got to put the red O-ring on the other side. Put a washer on top of that. And then I have to, uh, I put the, uh, one of the bevel gears on, and then I'm going to drop the spider gears in to the diff housing, the diff body there. Yeah, there we go. There's four of them interlocking. Now I'm going to, uh, of course, fill it with my 100,000 weight diff fluid. This stuff is pretty thick, so you gotta work pretty hard to get it out of the bottle. I made sure to buy a brand that uh, came in a squeeze bottle. Still working to fill that up. You kind of have to work it around those gears a little bit. Right, I put that little pin through that's going to match up with the bevel gear in there and I spun it out and I just have to affix the four hex screws to lock it down. All right, I am dropping it in with the short drive shaft in the back, the long drive shaft in the front. Down it goes. All right, just testing to make sure it works and we will put the diff housing on and cut to normal. Okay, the final stages are to assemble everything back together. I actually got to put some new double stick tape, so hopefully you have some handy. So the last step is to plug in my battery. Got a 2S LiPo here from Genzace. Drop it into the battery compartment. Strap it down. Let me 
and plug it in. I'll hold these rear tires. Let's see if those front tires go. That's that center dip in action, folks. It works. All right, let's go outside and have some fun. All right, I'm gonna be doing a little demo of the Team Red Cat MT-10E upgraded with the center diff. Now it's gonna be going up this little hill here and you're gonna see, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it full throttle. Now in the past, before I had the center diff installed, this thing would just pop wheelies and I do have that wheelie bar all the way down. Let's take a look at how it handles it now. Well, as you can see, it will not wheelie anymore. Okay, this is kind of prime terrain for wheeling. This is with a 100,000 weight uh, diff oil. Uh, as you're gonna be able to see here, this is on an incline. Typically on an incline, if you're gonna hammer that throttle, it would just, it would flip over. And there you go. M the Team Red Cat MT-10E with a center diff installed. <laughs>